Did you ever have girlfriends? I did. No. Yeah, wow. no. <laughs> You're like, no, shut up. <laughs> um, <laughs> my first real crush was when I was in junior high at that Christian school. I was in the eighth grade. And it, it, it was a mix between kind of like this crush and, and this musical awakening. She was so cool. She was a new girl in school, and I, I just thought she was awesome. And at the time, I was just into pop music, and she told me to listen to this radio station called KUKQ that was an AM radio station that played alternative music. This is not no, a this no, is not no, a no. The song came on that made me sit up, and I just sat up and was just like, what the hell is this? And it was Public Image Limited's This Is Not A Love Song. I just never heard anything like it before. For me, it was a really amazing moment for music. It was when I discovered alternative music. She became my, my best friend that year and, and, you know, the closest thing I ever had to a girlfriend. Did you snog her? Yeah. Did you? Yeah, we kissed. We never went any further than you that. You didn't get to first base? Uh, what would first base be? I don't know, you're American, you tell me. Um, I would boobs, imagine boobs. Yeah, no, we never, no, we never <laughs> went there. I want to take you up to your present track now. Yeah. What have you gone for? Um, the song I picked for a present track that's really, ex that excites me and I find really inspirational is, uh, the, it's the opening song off the LCD sound system record, Get Innocuous. You know, sometimes hearing other people's music just makes you crazy because you wish you'd done it yourself. And this is one of those songs. I think it's incredible. When once you have believed it, now you see it sucking you in. There's moments that I think he's an absolute genius. And this song, makes me jealous when I hear it. You moved to New York. Yes. When did you start um, dancing? Oh, make me over. I wanted to go backpacking in Europe, but I didn't know how I was gonna get the money. I had this friend named Seth, and we would go to this little stripper joint called Icy Guys, and Seth said one day, he was like, why don't you just go take your clothes off? I was really nervous about it, but I did it. The song that I remember the most was uh, Celebrity Skin by Hole. Oh, make me over. I would finish my sets with just like my underwear just bulging with dollar bills. It was so gross and dirty. Like I would just like, and I would go back to the little back room and just dump out like bills from my butt crack, you know, just like <laughs> they were stuffed everywhere. I never spent any of it. I put it all onto them, my backpacking trip. Um, future track, Jake. Future track, what, oh, I did um, Joan is Policewoman, Eternal Flame. I've known Joan for a long time in New York and she does all of our, a lot of our string arrangements. She's so sexy and outspoken and I, I, I just, I, she's really inspiring. I really would like to write songs with her someday. No, no, I'll never take that word. I try to put everything out on the table. I'm not ashamed of anything that I do. And if everybody knows about it, I just, I don't give a fuck. Like, it's just whatever. You're friends with um, Elton John, yeah. aren't you? You went to a stag do? Yeah. What was it like? I got really drunk, and there was a stripper pole, and I took all my clothes off. All of them? Well, no, I had my underwear. I had, like, really good. Sometimes my boyfriend buys me really ugly underwear. Um, so I had on like this hideous pair of underpants. Why this does he really... do that to stop you? He thinks they're sexy. <laughs> he likes you know, he likes me in cheap underwear. <laughs> so anyways, I was taking my clothes off at Elton's stag night, and this guy grabs my grabs my you know my underpants like this and doesn't depants me, which would have been fine, but 
rips them off coming from this direction. You can't just rip underwear off like that. I mean, there's elastic, it stretches. Then I'm standing there with this whole party looking at me completely naked. Um, and then I just like, for, there was a flash for a second just thinking like, this could be really embarrassing. What am I doing? I'm naked in front of a party. But I had a bowler hat, that because I sang with the Pet Shop Boys that night, we wore bowler hats, and I had a bowler hat sitting there. I took the bowler hat, put it over my bits, and finished the number. <laughs> I wasn't gonna get off the stage embarrassed. I was gonna do it with my head high. It was Iggy Pop, Lust for Life, and I said, I'm gonna finish off the song.